Hey, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Casey Dudley and for the technology integration assignment, I decided to do uh, the RAT framework. Um, I like this one uh, purely because of how uh, simple it was, how basic it is, but uh, how it's also very effective. It's, uh, I don't think that uh, the best plans always have to be the most complicated. I think that uh, simple plans that people can truly grasp and understand uh, are sometimes incredibly impactful so that's why I really liked the uh, the RAT framework so I'll go ahead and uh, explain it right now so the R in RAT stands for replacement uh, and they say the technology serves as a, a different digital means uh, to the same instructional practices so this would be um, like giving a student either a physical textbook or an online textbook it uh, it's going to do the same thing. The student is going to get uh, the reading done uh, either way. It's just um, just giving them a different option on how to do it. Uh, the A in RAT stands for uh, amplification, uh, which uh, they define as like technology increases efficiency, effectiveness, and productivity of the same instructional practices. So, like an example of this that I remember from high school would be um, like how teachers would have us take um, our tests and our quizzes online uh, in order to get our scores back right away. So this uh, improved the uh, efficiency of the classroom because the students did not have to wait for um, their test scores to get back and for the teacher um, to have to grade all of them, you know. And so it also helped with the productivity because we were able to see right away, okay, this is what we got wrong. Uh, so this is what we need to be working on uh, for the next time. Uh, and lastly, the T in RAT stands for transformation, uh, and they define it as the technology invents uh, new instruction, learning, or uh, curricula. So that basically is saying that the technology that you're implementing in the classroom is uh, bringing in brand new information to the kids. Uh, it's like, you know, it's something that you couldn't have done uh, without that. Uh, so, uh, the uh, impacts that the RAD has on teaching, uh, the RAD impacts teachers because it promotes um, always using technology in an impactful way uh, in the classroom. I think this has to do a lot with the amplification part. Um, right in the beginning of RAD, uh, it talks you know, about how it's just replacing into like a textbook, uh, digital or non-digital as really the same thing. So I think that uh, the impact as on teachers is using the technology in an impactful way, not necessarily just putting it in there to have it in there. Uh, the RAT pro, uh, framework also promotes using technology to help classrooms efficiency and producti uh, productivity. Uh, this is kind of what I had talked with uh, or talked about uh, with the um, quizzes and stuff like that. I had uh, talked to my dad who runs a flipped classroom uh, in his middle school and he uh, he said that it uh, using technology does uh, definitely uh, affect the efficiency and the productivity uh, productivity of his classroom. Uh, and he says it gives the uh, students more uh, more leeway on what uh, and when uh, they're going to work on their assignments. Uh, you know, not every kid can be productive on the bus ride to school, but if they have uh, their phone and they're able to do flashcards and stuff like that, it helps them. Uh, and then lastly, students get the opportunity to learn lessons uh, in new ways that are more relatable to their generation. Not every kid uh, nowadays is like me, and I know multiple of you uh, who prefer like a pen and paper. A lot of kids nowadays are like so, I mean, tech-oriented that uh, learning on the um, technology is more beneficial for them. So that we um, providing that uh, can definitely help them learn and uh, receive a better education. Um, so what do I need to consider as a teacher? Uh, is the technology really helping? I think this is one thing that I uh, um, will definitely uh, try to think about because I don't want to just uh, implement technology uh, just to do it, just to replace something, you know, because I think uh, that the old ways still work uh, and it costs a lot of money to implement technology. Uh, so I want to be conscious of that. Uh, I want to know, is the technology distracting? Is it really helping them, or is it a little bit more distracting? Um, I think this can uh, be a huge issue, and it can take something that is supposed to increase productivity within the classroom and actually end up decreasing it. So I definitely want to keep my eye on that. 
Uh, and then lastly, what I want to consider is uh, what purpose does the technology serve uh, in this lesson that wasn't present before? So I think this is just the main question I want to ask is how does this technology help the kids? Is, is it, um, is it going to be beneficial for us to use this over not using it? Uh, and I think that's the main question that everybody should ask uh, because uh, I mean the main goal is teaching the kids uh, as best as we can and giving them the best uh, you know education as possible. So I think uh, knowing the purpose of what we're doing uh, is absolutely key. So this has uh, been the RAT framework. It's a it's a very uh, simple framework, uh, but I think it's one that everybody can learn from, and it's definitely something uh, I'm going to use in my future as a teacher.